Hey guys, it's Bren and I'm here with my review of Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte from Bath and Body Works and White Barn. And I actually have the Three Wick Candle and the Wallflower and the Scent Portable. So I'll talk about all three of those, mainly the candle though. Um, if you watched my last haul video, I posted a haul video, check it out, it's kind of long, but it's, you know, BOGO candles and the wallflowers and all that stuff. I talked a little bit about this one already there. I also talked a little bit about how disappointed I've kind of been lately because all the new fall scents are so weak and they're all having strength and throw problems. Last year, the big problem was Puny Wick Syndrome. They seem to have mainly corrected that and the candles are burning a little better, but they're like almost unscented, um, especially warm apple pie. You know, and I got my first marshmallow pumpkin latte on an exchange for my warm apple pie and I was hoping it would do a lot better. Uh, but this candle actually has taken me on an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> when I first heard that it was coming out, I was excited because I liked the body care and I thought, you know, it would make a really good candle. It seemed like it would make a good one. People were saying it smelled just like the body care. I was excited. Then I started hearing that it wasn't throwing. Just like my warm apple pie, people were returning it because they couldn't smell it and I was worried. But I picked one up anyway, just crossed my fingers. There were two batches in my store. One smelled a little stronger, so I grabbed the one that I thought was stronger. It is, if you're interested, a 6179G3A3. And I got home, I lit it up, and you know, it was weird. For the first like hour, I couldn't smell anything. So I was getting really angry. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it just like kicked in and all of a sudden I could smell it. And all of a sudden it was filling this room um, completely to the back. And candles that do that generally for me, like that's a decent throw. And I call that like a seven or so, you know, not blowing me away, not but like what a candle should be. Like no candle that I spend money on should be less than a seven. You know, I don't buy a scented candle, light it up so I can be like, hmm, I can kind of maybe smell that candle that I'm burning a little bit, right? Like I want to be able to smell it if I'm burning it, if I paid for it. So this was giving me like the minimum acceptable performance, but still an acceptable performance. And that made me happy, particularly since I'd heard from other people that theirs were not good at all. So I jumped on Instagram and I posted a picture with my batch number and I was like, guys, this is obviously a good one because it's throwing a seven and I was so excited and it smelled great and it smelled just like the body care and I was very happy. And then I heard about the BOGO candle sale and I was thinking, well, I need to go get some more of these and I need to get the same exact batch number because obviously I got a good batch, right? And I think I kind of jumped the gun and I feel really bad about it now because I know like uh, Tina D. Valicious, for example, said that he went and he got like one that was the same batch number as mine because he had had a bad one and then he wanted to try this one and all that. And I really hope that it's doing better for him than his first one at least. Um, but the problem that I'm having is every time I lit this up after the first time, the strength and throw went, was a little less, little less, little less, little less. So after the first burn... Uh, the next time I lit it up, I was actually like, getting ready for work and I wasn't paying much attention to it. But so I don't I don't know exactly what was going on there. But the third time that I lit it up and had it going for a while, I was like, you know, this doesn't seem like a seven anymore. This isn't really filling the room anymore. It's more like a six. And I hoped it was just a fluke. Maybe the air conditioner was blowing more or less or who knew, you know. But then I lit it up again and it was less again. And I was like, God, this is like a five. What happened to my seven? And now, on all the subsequent burns after that, it's really settled in on like a four maybe. But that's like a generous four. Um, like I said in my last video too, my expectations have kind of been lowered. Last year I probably would have given this like a two or three on strength and throw. It's decreasing for sure. So again, I'm sorry, Kent. <laughs> I'm sorry everyone that went and bought one because I said it was so great for a minute there. I'll be more careful next time uh, and not be so optimistic, I guess, because yeah, it just, it started great and it just got worse. Now the scent, scent wise, this has also changed a little bit and I think that that kind of has to do with why the strength and throw is diminishing. I'm always in this scent, I'll read you the notes first. Pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, white ginger, praline musk. I've always, since the body care first came out two years ago, uh, gotten ginger the most. 
a lot of ginger in this scent, um, like fresh ginger, like fresh ginger root. And normally that's not really my thing and I don't like that too much, but it works nicely because the marshmallow, which is probably what I get second, comes in and sweetens it up and then there's a little bit of fall spiciness to kind of round it out and it turns that fresh ginger into like a nice kind of desserty type of scent and I think it balances well. Someone at one point told me that they thought this smelled a little bit like, or the body care actually, smelled a little bit like uh, shortbread cookies. And that, that kind of, there's something to that too. Um, but definitely I always got ginger. However, I never got any like sandalwood really. However, as this candle has burned down, I feel like the sweeter notes, the marshmallow, and any kind of pumpkin spice or well, like spiciness aside from the ginger has decreased. And it's turned after the halfway point, like I'm feeling like this is just like a ginger sandalwood candle. The ginger is all that's left and then I can smell kind of that sandalwood coming out that I couldn't smell before because again, the sweetness and the spiciness has kind of gone away. So yeah, really like what's left here is more like a fresh ginger and sandalwood type of scent, which is not that great. Um, but it's as if some of the notes stayed potent and some of the notes have dissipated, making the overall candle weaker, but also making the scent change a little bit. So yeah, that's also disappointing. Right now at this point, still hot because I just put it out, you can see I've had it melted almost completely. So I feel like it's probably just going to stay hanging out here where it's at now at a 3.54 type of strength and throw. I will also tell you the burn on this candle is crazy crazy. Um, it is the opposite of puny wick syndrome to a point where it's a negative. I said pomegranate spice cider was kind of like that too because that one burned so high. It was like burning kind of fast. This one's like so much worse though. Um, I had to keep putting this out when I didn't want to put it out because the wax pool was like this big um, or it was smoking and I had to stop and trim the wicks. I've had to trim the wicks on this a lot. They're getting really a lot of mushroom tops. Uh, kind of sooty. Uh, it's burning fast. That's the main thing. I mean, every time I look at this, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I've only had this for a handful of days here. Um, it is burning really fast too. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't like the really fast burning candles because you feel like you're getting ripped off, uh, beware of this one on that uh, aspect too. So like I said, I was going to get probably a lot more, but since it stunk, I just got one more. I did get one more kind of just for the sake of being a collector and because this one's going so fast, I was like, you know, and then I can just finish this one up and know I'll have one more. I might not ever light this one up, or at least not this season. But, you know, yeah, one more, whatever. But, gosh, just how disappointing. And then the wallflower. I bought three of the wallflowers because... Again, there's no excuse for the scent to be light. You know, I can understand why Blueberry Twist doesn't have any strength in the throat. It's hard to make blueberry strong. And a lot of the other candles, you know, I look at them at the strawberry scents, for example, stuff like that. Like, I get it why it's not that strong. But something that's all like fall spicy should be strong. And the body care is strong. So why can't they do the home fragrance strong? You know, the scent first came out and it was in body care. It obviously did well because they brought it back the next year and they added soap and pocket back and all of that. And that was good. And that obviously did well because this year they've brought it in home fragrance. And it's not just in a candle, it's in a wallflower. It's in a, yeah, I think it's in a room spray and a freaking scent portable. I mean, as far as Bath and Body Works scents goes, if you're a Bath and Body Works scent and you're in a scent portable, then you know you've hit the big time, right? I mean, you're in about everything, every form that you can possibly be in. Uh, but I think they screwed it up with home fragrance. They screwed it up, darn it. This wallflower is the probably the most unscented wallflower I've ever had. And I said that about brown sugar and fig from SAS, which was also completely unscented. But I mean, there is nothing, nothing, no scent coming from this when it's plugged in. You barely get any scent when it's not plugged in. But you get something uh, about the same that you get when it is plugged in. I, as I said in my haul video, I had this in my living room and kitchen. I left. I came back after a long day of being gone. Couldn't smell anything. Hovered right over it. Couldn't smell anything. Well, after I filmed that video, I gave it one more chance. I put it in my bathroom, right? Left it there for a while. Came back. It's hot. It's smoking. I know the plug is working. Nothing. Nothing. And when I put it right here when it's warm... The little bit that I can detect kind of is like what the candle is doing now. It's mostly just ginger and sandalwood, 
and you're not getting any spice or really any marshmallow either. So all three of these are just totally going back. Uh, forget it. I'm not even going to keep one for any reason. Ugh. What? Just how disappointing. Um, I was actually thinking when I was there, like, I wanted to get more than three. I'm glad I didn't do that. But again, I'm so sick of exchanging things. And then, now this is weird. The scent of portable uh, is completely different, right? Um, the scent portable doesn't smell anything like the body care. And the scent portable doesn't smell like ginger or sandalwood or anything like that. It's the opposite. The scent portable actually just smells like vanilla. It kind of smells like vanilla bean marshmallow. I get marshmallow. I get vanilla. That's it. It's just a sweet vanilla scent. Um... It, I'm wondering if they just repackaged Vanilla Bean Noel or something. Um, it's really boring. And I would think, again, you would think that the scent is kind of strong. So I was hoping that the scent portable would be kind of strong. But yeah, it's just a plain vanilla scent. So right now, because I just put it in my car, I can smell when I get in there like a vanilla frosting type of scent. Vanilla marshmallow, vanilla bean Noel, vanilla buttercream kind of smells like that, you know, and that it's good. But it's kind of weak, so I don't expect it to last beyond a few days. Um, but it doesn't match. It doesn't seem to match anything else in this line. It's, again, just basically just like vanilla bean marshmallow or um, or kind of like buttercream frosting. This is portable. So go figure. I don't even know. <laughs> I give up. Um, this is just not a great one, guys. I hate all the negative reviews. I felt really bad after I put uh, out my last haul video that I felt like, you know, Debbie Downer, like, and I, I want to get on here and I want to be just like so excited and recommend something awesome, but I'm working with unscented candles here. It's very tough lately. So yeah, I guess that's all I'll say about this one. Um, I have one more uh, to review for you, uh, new for fall, the toasted graham latte. So stay tuned. I'm going to make sure I give that one plenty of burns before I jump the gun and say anything prematurely about it. So I will continue burning that. I will be back with that later on. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.